Welcome to the video guys, we got a story here that is a couple of days old but it's something the channel has covered many times in relation to what has gone on in this country over the past 10 or more years. Well I say 10 or more years, what I actually mean is we've known about it for 10 or more years, it's been going on for more like 30 or 40 but not to the level it has been happening for the past few years that is for sure. This is even a topic we have called the government out for many times in their attempts to cover it up as you well know. Now. The reason for this cover-up is because they don't want to hurt a certain community's feelings despite the fact that they are harming children in this country on a daily basis. Well it would seem the police up in Rochdale have actually taken some action and arrested some of the people involved with what they are considering here in this ITV article, Historical Child Exploitation. Now I think you would all agree with me that is a rather mild way of putting it when it should be called a Pakistani rape gang or in this case a Pakistani and Afghan rape gang because they are the nationalities of the people who have been arrested for these crimes up in Rochdale recently. Now, the fact that these are so-called historical crimes really makes you wonder what the police have been doing for all these years. Apparently, these arrests relate to something that happened as far back as 2002 up until around 2006. So, unless it's taken a victim 14 years to come forward, question needs to be asked about how it's taken the police so long to take action against these people. Well, the ITB News website is giving a rather piss poor account of what has gone on and like I said in the headline, called it exploitation instead of a rape gang, which is obviously what it is. But before we get into that, remember the daily live streams have moved over to Twitch, so if you want to join me over there to chat in real time, the link will be down in the video description as always, along with the channel's other social media links. But back to the ITB article and the Rochdale rape gangs that have apparently been arrested 14 years later. A number of arrests have been made by police investigating historical child sexual exploitation in Rochdale. Greater Manchester Police say Operation Linton is a complex inquiry into abuse committed in the town between 2002 and 2006. Once again, historic child exploitation is a mild way of putting it, they should be calling it for what it is either a child grooming gang or a Pakistani rape gang, whichever way you want to put it down there. I mean shit, you could even call it a Muslim rape gang, but what you certainly shouldn't be calling it is a child sexual exploitation gang, because as we know, that description is rather weak. It is the latest probe to focus on historical abuse in Rochdale following the 2012 convictions of a gang of nine Asian men, eight of Pakistani and one of Afghan heritage who were jailed for grooming young white girls. Oh, so maybe I was wrong, this group not necessarily is eight Pakistanis and one Afghan heritage but I would like to bet that it probably is. I would suggest it is heavily related so everything I've said previously still is 100% correct or at least to the best of my knowledge and from what we can go on here. Those offences happened in and around Rochdale in 2008 and 2009 when the victims aged between 13 and 15 were given alcohol, food and money in return for sex. The case was later dramatised in the BBC TV series Free Girls that I'm sure the BBC are probably ashamed of doing now because it goes against a certain community as we all know. In the wake of the 2012 trial, another inquiry, Operation Doublet, was set up by GMP to investigate child exploitation in the town between 2003 and 2013 and eventually led to more convictions and jail sentences for separate offenders. On Friday, Greater Manchester Police said something we've already read through. They added, detectives are working alongside partners to provide a multi-agency response to safe guarding victims and providing them with the most suitable support whilst identifying and bringing offenders to justice eventually. Because as we know, the old bill have not been taking action when these crimes have been reported, only years later when I expect it's much harder to get a conviction. A number of arrests and interviews have already taken place and the investigation continues. Due to the sensitivities associated with offences of this nature, victims are at the forefront of our investigation and it would be inappropriate to release any further information at this time. No, what they mean is they need to protect the identity of the perpetrators, these worthless scumbag fuck pigs who have been running around raping young girls at the end of the day. We already know what they're doing. It's much like the government and covering up the grooming gang report that we petitioned to get released and they're just going to cover it over with a piss poor paper on it that is going to be heavily redacted compared to the original report. And like I said, them screaming about historical ones, what about the ones that are actually happening now, like the Justice for Ellie campaign? 
campaign that is currently going on with her actually in prison for I don't actually know what. Possibly something to do with talking about the case which is rather concerning but doesn't surprise me given the way the old bill and the courts have acted over the past 10 to 15 years. But I do have to say it is good that the police are actually doing something here though I feel it is far too late. They should have been doing this years ago or in this case at least a decade ago if you ask me. Now given how disgraceful these crimes are you think this would be top page news all over the BBC, all over ITV and I mean the broadcast stations. But if you really thought that then you would have to be a bit of an idiot because as we all know they don't ever report on shit like this. They cover it up as best as they can and get away with it with articles like this that we end up missing for like five days. So hopefully all of these people that have been arrested if they are guilty are convicted and given the longest possible sentence and then deported out of this country quicker than you can say snivelling shit weasel. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors. Slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies Mr Verhofstadt against their empires <laughs> and that is why Britain is leaving and it doesn't matter which language you use we are going and we are glad to be going we're off <laughs>